My name is Sivan Chodak, as you know. As, uh, maybe it's visible for the, for the people who know my father. Uh, uh, to be frankly, uh, surprisingly enough, uh, I'm not a scientist, so excuse me for that. Even though, even though I'm, uh, I studied economics and finance, uh, which uh, wrote uh, the question uh, during one of my previous speeches whether economic uh, and finance is or is not a science. But that's a completely different question and it's a completely different speech. <coughs> what we are going to do uh, today, I hope uh, you will enjoy uh, the, the speech and presentation. I'm very glad that uh, I can participate on this plastic uh, uh, event. And I hope that you will, you will enjoy a view of uh, outsider uh, to the things uh, you, are, you are doing. What we will try to, to cover today is uh, this outline. So I will try to a little bit talk about uh, my view, what is view of the scientist and what is the view of investor, uh, which is uh, many times missing uh, during, uh, during uh, the research and R&D uh, results, even though uh, we are talking about plastics, about uh, really uh, uh, the polymer, uh, usually polymers, uh, and chemistry, which is really focused on very practical uh, applications. So this is not the really basic, 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 basic research. This is always something about materials, something which is very, very close to the practice. So it's just one step uh, ahead or, or uh, ahead of the real practical implementation and that's uh, what we call knowledge transfer or know-how transfer. So what's the view of scientists? Usually view. You know it's to be a conference to, to get some rather tiny budget for research, to be a scientist of the year, to get some patent, <clears throat> to get some honor or even the highest price at all. Of course, this is the view which uh, you all are very familiar with. Uh, of course, uh, with the practical point of view as well, we have some things which will actually, actually be connected to the, to the things which are interested for investor as well. But it's more focused on the, on the results. Uh, it's more focused on to public the results. Uh, to find out something which is, which is useful or which is unique, etc. Uh, but very few scientists has in mind uh, this practical implementation. And actually, which is fine, because if they had, uh, it, they would be very limited uh, regarding the views of the research and the future, future concept. Application of this view of scientists can be demonstrated in this joke. You know, water, 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 and he found spectrometer, spectrometer, so that's, that's something. If you compare to the investor view, that's completely different uh, ideas or questions in mind. So we have, over, okay, production pattern, okay, that's something which is, which is common, that's, that's interlinked, but other things are something which maybe you are not familiar with, or, or you, you, just, you just heard about. So it's like uh, OPEX, operating expenses, EBTDA, the main factor of uh, valuing the companies and success of the business, uh, profit, uh, completely uh, different views regarding the nulls uh, behind the budget. So a few, few nulls uh, budgeting uh, when researchers are thinking about uh, many of them uh, when investor is trying to think about something. So it's a slightly uh, different uh, view. And sometimes these views and this, uh, these two people uh, and persons uh, sometimes uh, have some difficulties to communicate to each other. Uh, of course, uh, the usual thinkage of, uh, of the scientist, uh, if, uh, well, if uh, you are on something very big on it, don't let the company to get this on, his, on the hands. You know, that's, that's uh, somebody, sometimes you're afraid that, okay, the big results uh, will be stolen by the, by the big companies. But actually, this is, uh, this is not the true, uh, the co cooperation needs to, needs to exist. So, can they two work together? I mean, well, 
we believe uh, yes. Maybe I, I uh, tell you something about my background so you understand my view a little bit, the, the uh, introduction. I'm, I'm focused on finance, so I'm focused on, the, on uh, things like preparing the business plans for scientists or for purely commercial things, uh, getting the finance, uh, selling, buying companies, or advising during selling and buying companies. So this is a really pure, pure like economic and technical but finance uh, view. However, as uh, I'm uh, son of my, uh, of my uh, father, who is a well-known scientist in, in uh, uh, polymer science, so I, I have some, some basics or good, uh, good basics to understand or to have aspiration to understand a little bit of the thinking of the scientist. So that's why I try, to, uh, I try to think about these two things and put them together. And this is a uh, very light version, this presentation, uh, to transfer some of my knowledge uh, to yourself. Maybe they will be useful uh, in the future for you. Uh, yesterday, we had a very interesting chart uh, regarding uh, uh, the, the uh, spin-offs and uh, uh, participation of the business on research and development, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And Europe was a uh, pure tra uh, tragedy compared to US, compared to China, uh, which is investing a huge amount of money uh, to that. Uh, and uh, this chart is a, uh, actually quite recent, quite recent uh, source from EU commissions, and you can find uh, some comparing uh, comparable figures between the countries. Uh, within the EU, and of course that compared to other other countries uh, at all. Well, in Slovenia, you shall not be that unlucky because, according to this chart, uh, your your investments uh, to the to the uh, science and uh, R and D is more than well 2.7 uh, point GDP. Well, that's I think 2012 uh, data, uh, and actually uh, quite high portion of uh, what is here defined as business enterprise uh, expenses and expenditures or R&D. Of course, uh, the statistics is uh, very, very crucial for this. And uh, you know that uh, Winston Churchill uh, told once that, that I don't believe any statistics which I don't false myself. So, so only, only the statistics which I can produce and I, I produce on my way, that's what I believe in. So we actually don't know who has produced this. So, so that might be quite a tricky question, but the result is quite clear. <clears throat> the Asia, US, and China are investing uh, in absolute or relevant to their GDP uh, much more money in R&D. And uh, not surprisingly, uh, a huge portion of that investments are not the public ones it's, it's, uh, in Europe, uh, but the private money. But uh, this chart, uh, has to encourage you that uh, uh, there is money in, in, a, in, a, uh, in the world you can, you can touch and you can work with and you can try to cooperate with. It's even uh, the production companies, specialized investment funds, uh, maybe business angels, but uh, you can put uh, the money for your, uh, your R&D uh, uh, together, and I believe that I'm very much optimistic regarding this. But uh, I, I, I've seen some examples as well that it, it works. So, uh, if you want to put together your R&D research, which well, we we assume that it's already some that is already some very tiny idea uh, that what might be a product and what might be the actual application. So we are in this phase already. Uh, and if you aspire to, to talk to someone or to even think about, about uh, doing this and transfer this to commercial or commercialize these ideas, such as uh, whatever we mentioned and discussed yesterday, some biodegradable polymers uh, and, or plastics uh, at all, some applications, uh, uh, anything what is uh, the bioplastics, which is plastics, uh, focused on, so that's everything of, or, or very, very many uh, R&D research has already some, some applications. But if you want to talk to, to really to go this step ahead and to 
uh, transfer the, this knowledge to the real thing, then uh, I would suggest you to, to run through these uh, questions. So first of all, first area is product. Uh, first thing is, uh, and we, this is omitted very, very, uh, very much, it's defined what is the product. So actually that does not necessarily mean that that's a product. You can have a service actually, you can have a service. You can have a, a technology, oh, well that's product, that's technology line or whatever. But uh, you need to define what the customer is going to pay for. That's the product. So what is going to be transferred to the customer and what uh, is the thing you will receive for. That needs to be very clearly defined because otherwise the people outside of your world will not understand that what is the aim. Uh, there actually, actually, and that's the more example from IT world, uh, actually the product uh, is, uh, might not be the crucial. Uh, the, it might be only the value chain or value, value, well, value well, let's call it value chain, what, is, uh, what matters. If you remember um, this year, Facebook, uh, you all know what Facebook is, uh, paid 19 billion uh, US dollars for a company WhatsApp and I think WhatsApp you know as well that's a uh, messaging uh, company who is providing you uh, f uh, free of any ad uh, the communication or uh, SMS or chat uh, via mobile phones and they told 19 billion uh, US dollars which is a huge amount of money uh, the company has very tiny uh, very tiny profit if any uh, very tiny, very tiny uh, sales compared to Facebook, but it was like uh, I don't remember the, the the number, but it was like 100 uh, million active uh, paying users who paid uh, only one dollar per year, but still they subscribed. They were committed to the project, uh, and Facebook actually bought not the product itself. Product was good; it could be produced every uh, anywhere else but they simply both existing value chain. Yeah? So something like applicable for you is, is the main problem with bioplastic is actually, and we, we come to the, uh, to the uh, applicable uh, answer for so one of the uh, questions is actually uh, that where, where there is a market uh, for bioplastics uh, at all. Uh, if uh, someone would be so successful and will build, for example, community of the people uh, who will separate the waste, which is already done, of course, that, that uh, issue which is uh, being solved, but uh, who, will, uh, who will do it uh, in a way that is applicable for uh, compostable or bioplastics, because it's a very special way, then you don't even have to have a product uh, which is like bio, bioplastic uh, thing, which is going to be sold, but you have a chain, you have already something which is connected to the some kind of research and you already have a chain. You have something which is valuable and which uh, can be used uh, further. Next very important question is uh, who are your customers? Well, that's very important. Are you going to sell to the companies B2B or to retail, public sector, etc.? That's uh, very crucial uh, because it will give you some answers uh, later on. Uh, where are your customers? I mean, th what are your aspirations actually? Are you targeting uh, only uh, region uh, or country, country-wise, or, or are you heading uh, to Europe? H are you heading to globe, or even to universe? Or because also that uh, many applications uh, might be applicable in universe as well during the space research. Uh, so that's uh, that. What needs to be uh, defined, and of course, uh, hand in hand comes what's uh, the market potential of something what you will define as a, as a product. Uh, very crucial question, I think, for, for our topic, bioplastics, and especially, is, is there a market for your product? Uh, there is a famous, famous uh, story, very, very small and um, joke story, which is uh, teach to uh, in first semester in finance or economics and uh, um, uh, trade faculties, and which is that uh, the salesman comes to 
some uh, some forgotten island in uh, in uh, Atlant Ant Atlantic Ocean, and uh, he's selling uh, he's selling the shoes, and he's returning and writing uh, writing a report that unfortunately that's a very bad uh, bad place to to come to because every uh, everybody's uh, naked and nobody is wearing the shoes at all. They don't know what the shoes is, what the shoes are. Uh, another person, the same, the, the same person position from another company, sells, uh, selling the shoes, is coming to the same island and returning back and is writing a very optimistic report and saying that's excellent opportunity, that's excellent uh, territory. Nobody is wearing the shoes. We can sell a lot of them there. So that's that's. Uh, you simply can create a market. Uh, in bioplastic, I think that's, that's some maybe stories for, for some people. We yesterday had some, someone uh, from the ministry and someone uh, uh, regarding the policy. For example, my, my view regarding the bioplastics uh, stuff yeah, is uh, that compared to, compare to uh, alternative energy sources, that's one. Or, which is much closer, uh, bio, uh, bio uh, diesel, biodiesel stuff. I mean, biodiesel and biogasoline uh, itself are simply technology. If you if you calculate that and if you think about it as a as a pure economic way, which is actually what's what's what drives investments and and according to to free market theories, it drives the, the world as well. Uh, it simply it's not that that. Uh, that self-driven thing, because it's expensive technologically, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, quite complicated. Uh, actually, it, it uh, eats what we can eat, so it, it, it's uh, uh, agricultural production. Uh, but it works, and it works because uh, there is a policy that certain amount, well, whatever, 20% or 10% or of amount uh, of uh, every gasoline and diesel consumed in uh, Europe needs to be produced from bio sources. Well, it's policy. Uh, the same, for example, alternative energies. There is a huge amount of money which, uh, because of the regulations and policy makers, are spent, actually we are paying, in, I know, I'm not sure what's the concept in Slovenia. Uh, I'm, I'm quite sure it's pretty, pretty the same in Slovakia. Actually, actually, uh, there is because of uh, European Union, the certain amount and percentage of alternative sources needs to be installed until 2020 or uh, 2020. Uh, but uh, it costs a lot of money because they are much, much uh, more expensive. So uh, every other consumer is actually supporting these alternative sources. Uh, and uh, uh, the, the average price of electricity energy is, uh, is uh, rising because of this. And it's uh, not because uh, that we all would decide that that the green is good, uh, even though everybody is telling that, but when you have to pay for it, well, everybody is a little bit cautious. But uh, because of there is a policy and that's it. And that's exactly the way how, how the bioplastics might develop in the future. Simply there will be a politics that simply 5% of the production have to be produced from bio bioplastic, compostable. Then the resources build, okay, if you want to do that, you need to have some chain uh, because if, it, uh, if uh, this uh, shall work or, or shall eff eff effectively work, you need to have a chain uh, how you collect the plastics because uh, when you mix it with the regular waste, it doesn't really work. Uh, the, the aim of the thing doesn't work. So that's, uh, that's et cetera, et cetera. So that's what I told that uh, if there is no market at all at the moment, uh, that's not something you shall be uh, like really worry about. Maybe you, you have to spend a little bit, two or three minutes more, and try to figure out where the market can be uh, developed. Well, and of course, uh, one of the thing, okay, competition, etc. How how ahead are you with your research uh, and and the things of the applications? And last but not least, because it's very important later on, is how effectively uh, you can product your, uh, uh, you protect your product. So can you um, have a patent for that? Can you have some uh, technology, uh, technology unique, uh, how you call it, uh, 
użytkownik or, or, or technology license. Uh, so can you effectively pro protect or, or you just need to uh, put your uh, receptor in a trezor and keep it very, very <laughs> strongly in there? Uh, when you decide that there is a product and uh, you would like to go uh, to more commercial way, even this is a spin-off company with the university, if something like that uh, really works or, or, or there are some, some encouraged people who will tell you that, okay, that's what we would like to try. Because in Slovakia, I have, I have for example, experience that there is a, a lot of money spent on technology transfer, know-how transfer, uh, technology centers, etc., etc. A really lot of money, like, like in, in, from EU funds, you can get not hundred thousands, but you can get uh, millions of uh, euros. And what is built is infrastructure. So that means there are some offices, more or less experienced people who did or did not uh, yet uh, the sp establishing of the spin-off companies, etc., etc. Uh, it's like uh, sometimes I think it's like Yeti, but everybody uh, every, like Bigfoot, uh, you know, Yeti. Uh, that everybody is talking about uh, him, but nobody never seen him. So, so that's like technology uh, transfer, at least in Slovakia. Uh, so, if you uh, decided that you would like to try to really, even either establish the company spin-off or try to transfer your patent and licensing knowledge to someone who can really produce and cetera or put uh, your, your, uh, uh, the power together. Uh, of course, that there are another questions uh, which needs to be answered. So uh, can we do that? Uh, do we have material? Uh, do we have technology? Uh, what are necessary uh, investments for product launch? Uh, very important questions, and that's more like financial planning, etc. Is expected profit, uh, profitability and payback, etc. Simply, uh, these are all the questions uh, that uh, and now the uh, economist needs to find out the answers uh, and to find out whether investment is really uh, feasible. And of course, now that that is a view which is like pure, like 100% return on investment strategy, or at least there is, a, there is a high likelihood that there will be a return on such investments, or uh, even, even profit. So there are no, no soft factors are included, because sometimes uh, some investors will invest in your research, uh, which actually the original idea is to, pr product, uh, to produce some product, uh, but in back mind, they think, okay, uh, there might be uh, uh, many side effects of this uh, investment, of this research, and maybe not particular product which we have uh, originally proposed or we, we think about is what really earned the money, but it will be something completely different. But that's also, that it, it also works. Well, and that last but not least is exactly that who will pay uh, for it? Is it yourself? Uh, well, uh, Lotto is, is here. Uh, rich uncle, university, EU funds, venture capitalists, business angels, and et cetera, et cetera. But that's the, the topic for different, like funding uh, of such project. Maybe that, uh, that's a topic for different, uh, different speech. So, from research idea to commercial product, that's a really a tricky way, and especially for, in, for investor, because I mean, you usually understand how it works. Although, uh, uh, be aware that transferring the things from laboratory size to a real industrial size is very, 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 very tricky. It's very tricky. It costs a lot of, uh, for you, nerves, uh, and uh, money, and, and against nerves. Uh, nerves. So it's very, very tricky to transfer something which works in laboratory conditions, to transfer it to the, the real industrial uh, production, even, even small, not the not big size continuous lines, even small industrial production. To repeat just the things which I, which I personally think that if you have aspirations or you will have uh, aspirations uh, later in your life to transfer some, some R&D products, uh, I think that the 
uh, these four uh, things are really crucial for success. The team, product, business plan, and market. The team. Team is something which actually the, the main part of it only you can provide. So people who will finalize and do the research. Finalize the research means transfer from laboratory conditions to industrial ones. Uh, people also are crucial who will execute and manage uh, the project. Actually, uh, these are usually not the same people because the skills and uh, desired experience is completely different or it's sometimes very, very much uh, different. These people think about technical, more technical things. These people are thinking about manageable things, about maybe marketing things. Not, uh, that does not mean that you do uh, 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 huge TV spots or TV ads, but it means to market your product. So someone who, who has uh, this marketing view, simply you will tell him that you will tell him that I have this product and he already has some three, four applications and people who might be potentially interested. Actually, this combination uh, is, uh, has, of the people has created something we, who, I mean, is uh, world, no, uh, world known and everybody, has, or almost 50% has now in your tables. So that's Apple company. That's uh, Steve Wozniak and Steve Jobs. Uh, Steve, jo Steve Wozniak, he invented, he simply created a thing. He was the technician, he put the wires together and it worked. And Steve Jobs, he, he was able to sell. He was able, I mean, he told him, I mean, well, if this is uh, this uh, design, well, we will be another IBM, but if we make it a little bit more nice and uh, we, will, uh, we will attract some other generation, something which was very new in 1978, 1980, uh, even though almost everybody believed that this is very good uh, segment, uh, but uh, simply he he made the story about the product and and he was successfully selling the product. And of course, you need to have a, uh, this team needs to be really really committed uh, for the thing. We run through the product. Maybe maybe. I told some, some ideas about what needs to be done in a product. Uh, the thing is that more sophisticated pro technology does not necessarily mean uh, better success. It may be uh, more difficult to be copied, but it's uh, more difficult to be implemented. So, you know, more sophisticated, more complicated, uh, more things uh, can actually go uh, wrong. Market, that's already we discussed. Uh, don't forget that market is uh, moving uh, in time. So today's market is something which uh, tomorrow's uh, might be completely, uh, completely different. I think when Facebook has been developed uh, or introduced, actually not by Zuckerberg but by, by his uh, friends, uh, then then uh, well nobody would believe that something like that uh, might exist. Now uh, you cannot imagine that uh, what what are. Uh, what we are using for communication, what the email is actually. I mean, that's, that's something which, which uh, five years was, was uh, absolutely normal, and now Facebook is uh, replacing the email communication very, very much frequently in a certain, in certain segment, in certain age. And business plan, last but not least. So uh, the business plan is very, very crucial, and uh, I've seen just a few scientists who were really uh, able to prepare a good and uh, feasible business plan which worked, which then worked uh, for also commercial, commercialization purposes. Uh, that means uh, it provides answers for key questions and uh, financial calculations is a must. In, uh, so simply, simply the basic, at least basic financial calculations, that means what is uh, the cost of production, what are uh, the profits or investments based on expected, expected uh, demand or ex expected uh, actual, actual production. That's absolutely must because then you are lost if you don't have this. That not even in such a complicated thing which is a new product in R&D, uh, but in any new company which is producing something which is 100 years on the market without business plan, it's very difficult. It's very difficult. 
And in the beginning, it might be helicopter view, but then in time, it gathers uh, more and more details, and then it's, it's uh, at the end, or, or in time, it's a really, really uh, good document. So don't be afraid that you don't have uh, uh, every uh, answer for every detail in the beginning, because sometimes the answers are not there, or sometimes the answers are uh, being uh, developed in time. What time I had? I, I was, okay. 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 Uh, now we come to to the thing and to the to the another area I would like to cover is uh, just to you to to understand then what's uh, a little bit uh, in price of the product. So. Imagine that you have, a, you have a product out there, you decided that you are going to do a spin-off or you are going to try with your friends in your, uh, in your uh, uh, parents' garage, uh, produce a new super, super whatever, uh, which is being uh, easy to produce, everybody wants it. Just, you just need to put some people together, some few money and, and start to producing this. And of course, uh, the question is that how much uh, you shall charge for it. So first of all, the basics is that it has to cover uh, all the costs. Uh, it's easy to say, uh, it's more difficult uh, to, uh, to, to calculate when you have uh, no idea uh, or, or, well, if you forget uh, some of, the, some of the, the costs. So actually, all the costs uh, shall include, of course, all the material, all the labor costs, that's, that's uh, usual. But don't forget about the transportation of the material. Don't forget about the marketing costs, uh, direct, indirect. Uh, direct means, uh, of course, that all the direct marketing, you need to build uh, the awareness of your product. Indirect, or actually this more to pricing strategy, is that all the, the rabbits you need to pay uh, to, to your customers who are uh, taking uh, bigger amounts. And maybe sometimes, like uh, hidden costs where you need to do some marketing uh, support and uh, etc. And of course, uh, completely another stories are fixed costs. That means that uh, costs which are linked to, for example, to technology. And that's uh, very much linked to the thing that if you, for example, buy technology for 10,000 uh, euros and you can use it for like, uh, I mean, four years, uh, so by time you shall uh, allocate 2.5 thousand euros per, per year and transfer it to the uh, price. So you shall have it back in your price. But of course it depends when you own this technology, if you produce two products per year or 200,000 uh, products per year. So it's, uh, it depends. And it depends on your, on your estimated uh, utilization of your line, etc. So, so calculating the fixed cost it's quite uh, tricky, and you need to focus on it very much. And then there are another factors which may, which I will just uh, run through that very quickly. Is of course that uh, the price is very important. How you would like to penetrate uh, with your product, and actually price is something which sets uh, goals of of the story. So if you want, you have to reflect somehow sensitive customer is some what are environmental factors for that means in some products you are limited with your pricing strategy because the price is set uh, and etc etc these are all things which during the preparation of the business plans needs to be uh, covered here are some comments regarding product pricing strategies maybe just for for information. So that's the cost plus margin pricing, that's the simplest <coughs> way. So you know what it costs, if you have a good calculations, of course, and good estimate of production. Then you add up your desired margin, whoever, whatever it is, you, you need to conform, uh, confront with the market. And then that's a simply build up price from the bottom. Uh, another, uh, but very similar pr uh, pricing, pricing structure is the target return. You want to earn on this company 
where you invested some money, such and such amount, and that means that you are selling 100,000 or 1,000 products or 100 products. So on each product, if you want to earn uh, 1,000 uh, euro uh, monthly, so you need to uh, earn profit one euro. Uh, I think much more interested, interesting for you shall be uh, value-based pricing. Uh, yesterday we mentioned some applications in, uh, where the bioplastics are used for medicine purposes. So, so uh, certain, uh, certain uh, things which are uh, implemented and simply used for medicine uh, purposes. And that's completely different story because the, you price your product not based on what it actually costs, but you priced uh, it, what do you think it, uh, it's uh, uh, value uh, for your customer. And of course that health is, uh, the sky is the limit and you can pay anything, so you have to have some real considerations and compare to other products, etc. But that's a good uh, thing uh, to use when uh, there is uh, something where the value of your product is really much, much higher than your production cost. And then the pricing structure is uh, a little bit uh, different and you are trying to target the value, not, not the, your costs. And then like positioning pricing and psychological pricing, you know that nine, nine, price 9.99 is much, much cheaper than 10. So that's obvious. Everybody knows that. that if I pay only nine for something, then it's, I don't pay ten. So there are some other strategies. And uh, last is that there is a, from idea product to really production, there is a long trip. And let's simply summarize what we, what I told you a, a minute before, so to have a very good view on the main questions regarding the product, service, etc. Prepare a good business plan. Make a good view who the investor can be and how to approach him. And actually investor can be university as well or state uh, supported. Uh, organizations and institutions actually uh, EU funds is uh, I mean it's so-called investor but there is a, a huge amount and source of uh, money you just need to need to try to apply and match what is available with what you have and then of course execution and just quick things that also financial uh, people are doing a little bit of science or something which looks like that. Uh, we, for example, during such uh, steps, during this long term, uh, companies like such uh, we are slow advisory companies are really doing uh, uh, financial modeling, which is based on, on really in-depth calculation of the all costs uh, which are necessary, uh, which are doing sensitivity analysis based on expected expected uh, output, expected sales, etc. So that's, that's, really, that's really something which is very close to science because the, the valuation and financial modeling is something between art and science, or as, we, as we try to say. And uh, that's exactly how, how we work. That's, that's some view of uh, some of the models uh, we are producing. So you can really play with the, with the parameters you can uh, you can see the results, of course, based on assumptions, because the real life might be completely different, of course, but if your assumptions are uh, correct, then you might be very, very much uh, in line. And then what I called the result is sensitivity. What, what is a good, uh, I, uh, I'm, I have a saying that, uh, that business plan, which is uh, not profitable or worth uh, if you calculate it on one single piece of paper, will not be more profitable if you put it on your Excel sheet. That it doesn't work like this. So if, if it doesn't work on piece of paper with the calculator, it will usually not work with the Excel. Well, very sophisticated inputs and inputs, etc. But what Excel and more in-depth modeling will 
will offer you is really sensitivity analysis, which based, for example, this is price uh, like some some discount or some two parameters model, and you now you immediately see out of the model what's your profitability ever you see, and you can have many views on different parameters. And I try to compare this to weather maps, that uh, whether the weather for your uh, business is going to be good or not, and under what assumptions. So thank you for your attention. <laughs>